All right, Romy Romers. <clears throat> um, today, I want to give you the trip, the tour that I give to all my close friends and relatives that come down to Miami who haven't visited Miami before, don't know too much about Miami. So here it is. Start off with your morning cup of coffee at Panther Cafe. That's a local shop, high quality, super high quality coffee in Wynwood. Right, so that's on the corner of 24th and Northwest 2nd Avenue. Basically, the neighborhood of Wynwood is uh, the north side of it is about 29th Street, Northwest 29th Street, and then the west side of it ends with 95. And uh, actually, the last road before the highway is called Northwest 6th Avenue. And then on the south side, I would say probably around uh, 22nd, Northwest 22nd Street. And then the east side is North Miami Avenue. So that is like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six blocks, maybe seven blocks square. And there's a bunch of cool stuff, right? So we're going to have that cup of coffee and maybe a pastry at Panther Cafe. Uh, but you know, you want to save, you know, the other option is, is if you, uh, if you want something a little bit sweeter, you can go to, uh, the salty donut. Salty donut is a, um, <clears throat> you know, kind of a super high end, uh, donut shop. And that is in Wynwood also. So you could get your cup of coffee at Panther if you like to travel around. Uh, Or you could start at the Salty Donut, get a cup of coffee and a donut. The donuts are crazy. You know, bacon, (coughs) bacon donut, uh, guava and cheese donut, all kinds of really uh, delicious um, mixtures. So you can have that. Now, the Salty Donut's right around Northwest 23rd. And North Miami Avenue. So it's real close to North Miami on Northwest 23rd. Then uh, you, after you get your breakfast, you're going to go over to uh, Wynwood Walls. And you're going to go walk around. Now, the whole area, the whole Wynwood area that I, I mentioned has, um, has really world-class um, murals and graffiti all over the walls, all over the neighborhood. So you can walk around the neighborhood and see these beautiful pieces of art everywhere, and I highly suggest you do that. But kind of the epicenter of it is a place called Wynwood Walls. It's kind of, uh, there's like, I don't know, five or six, maybe ten walls that are, you know, decorated with full murals that are just unbelievably high quality. So start with Wynwood Walls, then walk around the neighborhood and check out some of the um, other graffiti. You'll love that. Then uh, you can make your way over to South Beach or the beach. And the way I would do that is I would take the Venetian Causeway. So Venetian Causeway, if you go east to US-1 and then you go south all the way to about northwest, fifth, north, excuse me, northeast 15th Street. And then you get on the uh, Venetian Causeway and you drive across. You have to go through a little toll, but it's like pretty cheap. And then you go through the Venetian Causeway and you run into uh, South Beach there. <clears throat> and so that's yeah, that you can go through the Venetian Causeway. You could also go through 195 and you also go through uh, 395. Those are all ways. But Venetian Causeway is kind of an interesting route because it's kind of like a neighborhood and it's, um, it's very uh, low-key. Not a lot of people going through there. So it's it's not the uh, major thoroughfare of 195 and 395. And we get in uh, to South Beach there. And <clears throat> if you make a left, you'll be right in uh, a really nice place called Sunset Harbor. So Sunset Harbor has uh, another Panther Cafe there. If you want to go uh, and have your Panther Cafe there, you can. They got a really nice park that's walking distance from Panther Cafe, and you could chill. Sunset Harbor, as the name implies, is a great place to see the sunset. So you could make that your uh, <clears throat> your kind of closer for the day. Um, 
Then what you can do is you, you can drive the car over to get on Alton Road, go south on Alton Road till you get to past Fifth Street, and then um, maybe park the car, right? So go park it, you could park it over by, um, there's a little uh, restaurant on the water called Monty's. So go ahead and park there right around Monty's. And then you can walk, and there's an incredible walk. You just uh, get on the, it's like a, the pier is there, and you just walk along the pier all the way down um, <clears throat> to the south. You'll run into South Point Park, and you just keep walking all the way down past South Point Park, past Smith & Walensky's. If you like a steak place, go to Smith & Walensky's. It's maybe not the best steakhouse in Miami, but... It's good, and it has, uh, but the view is unbelievable, and the location is is really nice. It's right there in South Point Park. So you just go, and you can have a glass of wine. It's really, it's a nice place to have a glass of wine and sit. Um, so you go past Smith Olenskis all the way down till so you get to South Point Park Pier, and you can take the pier. You can walk all the way out to the pier, depending on when you are, when you get there, or that's where south beach begins so you can get on you can start to take the beach walk north on the beach and now you're on south beach right now from there go walk all the way up south beach till you get to about let's say fifth keep going it's uh there's a lot of uh you know uh stuff going on so there's there's uh basically beach and then like a park right when you get to about fifth street and then um, that park ends around uh, 15th, right? So 5th to 15th is like beach, park, and then Ocean Drive. And on that beach, you'll see uh, volleyball courts. And this is like high-end volleyball courts. Like I think Olympic players play on these volleyball courts. It's nice to watch. Walk all the way up South Beach till you get to... Um, to get to Lincoln Road, right? Because at some point, you'll hit 15th Street, and the park, the beach will then, the, the park will no longer be there. It'll be the end of the park. But there's like a board, there's like a boardwalk up there. And you could take, <clears throat> instead of walking on the beach, you could walk on the boardwalk. All the way till you get to Lincoln Road, right? And then, once you get to Lincoln Road, make a left, and go all the way down, walk down Lincoln Road. Lincoln Road is a beautiful kind of walking mall type of area it's i mean mall does doesn't really do it justice it's <clears throat> just a lot of um stores outside it's made to be walked on there's no cars it's just uh just pedestrians on either side and so you just walk down lincoln road and see all that until you get to um alton right that's where lincoln road ends basically and then from there um, you can, and there's all, you know, places to eat, uh, around there. Not, maybe not the best places to eat in the world, but, uh, I guess I would recommend, uh, Yardbird, which is on the corner of 16th and Lenox. That's a nice spot. Um, there's a ceviche place. Uh, there's a taco place on Lincoln, on the other side of Alton Road. There's like maybe two more blocks of Lincoln Road, but it's not really the same. It's a little bit different. But there's a nice little uh, taco place there, and there's a ceviche place there. So those are nice. Uh, so you walk that all the way down Lincoln Road, and then right around there, you can pick up uh, the Baywalk. Actually, let me see. Baywalk, I think, starts... Um, yeah, right around there, maybe a little bit one one south, maybe Lincoln Terrace. Get on the Bay Walk. Now you're walking along the bay on the other side of the island, and that's very nice. Walk all the way down, all the way down. I think you can get all the way down to about eleventh. Uh, I can't I can't remember exactly how far you can get down on that Bay Walk, but that's a really nice uh, spot to walk down on the bay side, and. Um, which would take you, leave you out maybe somewhere around 13th, 10th, maybe, I don't know. Uh, and then uh, you get down, you can walk down West Avenue. Uh, <clears throat> there's a couple of places to, uh, you know, hydrate and uh, 
then once you get to about 10th Street, uh, now you get some uh, like little restaurants there, and you can you can do uh, Oliver's. That's a nice one. There's a coffee place, Cafe Umbria, but uh, eh, it's okay. Panther's better. Uh, Machelina's is a nice Italian restaurant. Uh, and they have this nice place. Actually, if you want uh, to the south, right near Bentley Bay, there's a um, a restaurant called Bar One. Now, I've never been to this restaurant, but it's in a really good location. So uh, it has a nice uh, location. So if you go there, maybe just grab a drink and chill and sit and look out and view the uh, kind of the view to the west. You can see the city, you can see Star Island, right? It's a, it's a really nice view. Or you could keep going back around down to Alton Road and then have your dinner, have your, uh, you know, your drinks, like I said, at Smith & Walensky's, or if you like something a little bit more casual, um, you can do uh, Monty's. That's got, they got uh, good stone crabs, they got, and then there's, you know, the other one to kind of remember is there's uh, Joe's Stone Crab, which is on Washington and South Point Drive. That's like a, uh, been around for a long time, has a great reputation for stone crabs. With the stone crab season, you should go in there. If you want to chill on the beach, uh, there's Nikki Beach, which is right around First Street and Ocean Drive. I recommend that. You know, the, the, the club kind of goes, spills off into the beach and has some really nice uh, places to chill and sit there on the beach. On a beautiful day, it's fantastic. Uh, <clears throat> if you want a diner around there, go to Big Pink. That's uh, been around for a long time. Great place, big portions. Uh, that's 2nd Street and Collins Avenue. So that's the tour I give people. And they love it every time. So uh, check it out. If you like it, let me know. All right. Thanks a lot.